Earlier this year, we experienced one of the biggest typhoons to ever hit the country and it was particularly scary for us living in a glass house like this. But I've learned a lot of things since then and a lot of people have actually asked me, Slater, how do I make sure that my new glass house, the one that I'm building, magso survive? Or yung existing bahay namin, paano ko I make sure that when the next typhoon hits, it will be as safe as it can be. Well, I've done a lot of research, a lot of consulting, and I am now confident to share to you guys a few ideas on how to make sure na prepared kayo, whether you're building a new house or meron na kayong existing house what you can do just before the typhoon to make sure it's extra safe and what you should be doing when you're in the middle of the typhoon to make sure your house is as safe as it can be that's our video for today now we all know the importance of future proofing our home actually and dami naming ginagawa ng mga renovations dito sa bahay more on that in this channel so click subscribe down below pero a lot of business owners out there also want to future proof their business and if you're one of them you're going to love the new feature from our sponsor for today so all of us are familiar with gcash we use it all the time it makes payments convenient and secure but if you're a business owner medyo feeling mo gusto mo ng pro level or you want to take it up a notch well introducing po ma'am sir the gcash pro Biz Starter 99. <laughs> it has all the benefits of GCash and then some. For example, yung wallet limit natin magiging 500,000 pesos. That means a lot more transactions and it makes it a whole lot easier. Second, it also makes it para kung professor. No? Second, it also gives us up to five free bank transactions every month. That's 75 pesos worth of savings every single month. But that's not all po, ma'am sir. You also get personal insurance of up to 50,000 pesos. And not only that, ma'am sir, meron po tayong 25,000 worth of loans through GCash. So that's a very good deal for 99 pesos a month. Pwede na akong maging salesman. You can avail of the GCash Pro Biz Starter 99 using two easy steps. Just log in and fill out your details in the link below. And you just have to make sure that you have 99 pesos in your GCash account and you're good to go in two to three days. That easy. So after the typhoon, ang daming nagtatanong sa akin, Slater, how was your house able to withstand the gust of Typhoon Odette. And diba you're constructing a new house pa? Glass panel din yun. How do you make sure na kaya yung glass panel when it comes to Typhoon wind loads? Well, the very easy answer for that is have it calculated by your structural engineer. For us, for big panels like this, yung kinalculate namin was about 8 to 10 millimeters thick na glass panel na dapat tempered. So tempered glass is actually five times stronger than ordinary glass. That's the structural side and that's the most important side. So, alam na namin that this is thick enough to resist a typhoon load. But what if merong mga debris na lilipad and matatamaan to, di ba? May chance pa rin na mababasag yung glass panels. And syempre, we didn't expect a typhoon like that to hit Cebu. So, we're now studying ways on how to cover our glass panels and make it a lot safer. This is one of the things that we're studying or may plan to incorporate. This is a sun baffle, but this can also help with deflecting debris. This is made out of bamboo. This is from a brand called Modern Bamboo. Meron ding versions nito na aluminum. Meron ding mga sliding versions nito so you can open up your house whenever you want to. Siyempre, this would have been better if we incorporated it to the design of the house. So for those of you that are still planning to build your house, it's a good idea to incorporate something like this or some sort of louver, or meron pa nga binibenta na storm shutters mismo. The only problem I have with that is medyo heavy siya sa mata and sa itsura and sa bulsa. <laughs> but I've actually found an option that makes protecting your glass so much easier. 
This little thing is what they call a hurricane clip. And I've been looking everywhere for it, but I'll put links down below. I hope I can find this in the Philippines because I bought this online internationally. But this is very, very effective and this is how it works. Basically, just before the typhoon hits, you get yourself a plywood sheet like this one. It should be at least half an inch thick and attach it like so. Super easy. And now, this is where the magic happens. Wow, magic happens. So when Typhoon Odette hit, this area was very close by to all these branches and delicado siya na mabasag if something hits it, di ba? So this is the perfect fix for small to medium windows. Just cut the plywood with the size of the opening and put your hurricane clip and slide it in. That's it. So now it's safe from all the debris. So if you have a tatama dito, this plywood is not going anywhere. The only disadvantage for this is, number one, you'll have to have a windowsill that's deep enough, at least two inches thick. So you have to Second is, if you notice, there are scratches on the paint itself, diba? But for me, it's a very small price to pay to protect your home. And when you're done, tapos na yung typhoon, all you need to do is get a screwdriver driver pry it out and you're good to go so as you see sobrang hirap niya tanggalin and that makes it super safe for the typhoon hindi siya nasasak ng typhoon or hindi siya na blow away but yun nga lang talaga the biggest disadvantage that i can see is that it leaves scratches although if you were to do a proper board up na sabihin natin I'll plywood ako and I'll drill through the walls ko para ma-attach ko to. This is such a better and easier option. All I have to do right now is when I'm done is I can label this. Okay, this room, this side up, para we can recycle this the next time we need it. Pag pasensya nyo na yung plants namin guys, we're still rehabilitating our garden. Pero this is the front panel of our master bedroom and manahihirapan kami kung paano to siyang takpan like we didn't want to cover the view so we didn't want to put the louvers so what we actually did was place tents on all the glass panels surrounding our bedroom so just in case may matatamaan or mababasag it has enough resistance number one second is just in case it really does break, it will still be intact because of that tint. So, we have na safety tints if we want the best of the best. It's made talaga to help glass stay in place whenever it's Yung ginamit namin dito is dual fold, so it acts kind of like a safety tent, but mostly it also prevents the heat from going into our room. This particular tent, if you notice, may konting pagka blue siya ng very, very slight, is from Solarix. So thank you to our friend Kenneth Kabunpe for hooking us up with this one. Check them out, guys. I'll put a link down below. So after Typhoon Odette, the number one question that was in discussion by far was, Muntik ng mababasag yung windows ko. Do I open? it to relieve the pressure or do I keep it closed? And guys, inarguably, the answer is keep it closed. When you open your windows, para yung balloon na ini-inflate yung bahay nyo, it may damage the roof or it may break all the other windows around it. Pero, you can also argue na, Slater, I'll open one side but I'll let it pass through the other side. Guys, that's still a bad idea kahit may through and through tayo because there's still going to be water damage, debris damage, you don't know what's going to come flying into your house, etc, etc. So I recommend that you keep it closed. And lastly guys, after you've done everything that you can do to protect your own home, now it's time to protect you and your family. All you have to do now is hide in a room, a safe room, wherein wala masyadong windows. That's actually what Chris and I and Scotty did during Typhoon Odette. And I recommend the same. Just stay there no matter what happens until the typhoon has passed. Because after Typhoon Odette, I've heard a lot of horror stories of injuries because they were trying to save something in their house, whether it's trying to close a window, trying to close a door, and then injuries happen because of that. So better to keep yourself safe kasi kahit papano, we can always rebuild, we can always repair, but our lives and our limbs hindi na mababalik, di ba? 
So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the links below for the Gcash Pro Biz Starter 99. And this is me saying, I'll see you later.